hi all welcome back to the shop and um, today we are going to speak about the, the cooling uh, system I use on, on my CNC um, the first thing I, I, I want to tell you is the fact that you don't need uh, necessary a, a cooling circuit uh, on your CNC um, I have to make this choice because I want to have a spindle um, like this one um, with uh, a cooling uh, a cooling circuit. Um, I saw many <coughs> films on YouTube uh, regarding uh, those spindles uh, with or without um, the cooling circuit. So um, I, I I saw that uh, those kind of spindles are less nosy with uh, with the cooling system and they, they can also run for a very very long time um, because the, the cooling circuit is very stable and the temperature is very stable so I do not want to take any risk about uh, the spindle that is the let's say the heart of the machine and uh, I choose um, a water cool spindle so then <coughs> um, as I, I was uh, it was necessary to have a, a cooling circuit I decided also to use the cooling circuit to uh, uh, to make some cooling about uh, the stepper motors so uh, you have to know uh, depending on the kind of wiring you use on your stepper and especially uh, the wiring uh, I use here is a parallel wiring um, so the torque of the stepper is very high but also uh, you increase the temperature and you can have a temperature about 80 celsius degrees so I put on each uh, of my steppers um, a coil. It's a it's a coil uh, that I create from uh, from a, uh, a small pipe of um, and I um, turn it around the, the stepper. So I create a coil and I use the, the cooling circuit also to uh, <coughs> to maintain a good temperature on the steppers. So uh, now I'm very uh, pleased with uh, that solution because. Uh, 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 I can feel that uh, the temperature uh, would be very high without uh, this system and maybe uh, I could have burned my, uh, my stepper motors. Um, <coughs> so when I decided to, to have um, the cooling circuit, I, I create a um, uh, design of the circuit. And uh, there is two or three things uh, about the circuit that you have to know. The first one, I use an automotive tank. Uh, like this one and it has two uh, advantages the first one uh, is the fact that you have um, some uh, some reserve and uh, some advanced uh, cooling and uh, also the fact that uh, if you are if you have some bubbles or air inside the circuit uh, this kind of bottle is able to remove uh, the air uh, inside uh, the cooling circuit and I put in the upper way, <coughs> so uh, at the maximum height of the of the machine. So I'm sure that uh, the, the the cooling fluid uh, is getting down. Then I, I when I create a design, I put uh, the pump in a lower position, and uh, you can see also on the uh, on this design. So the coil for the stepper, so for each stepper and um, <coughs> so the fluid uh, go also inside and I use also um, a radiator coming from a motorbike and I will show you uh, in a minute uh, while it is uh, installed and also a meter flow uh, very close to <coughs> to the station where I have the, my PC and uh, where I come on the CNC it's a good way for me to, uh, to be sure that uh, the cooling uh, fluid is, uh, is running inside the circuit um, <coughs> there is two other things that uh, I should mention. So, the first one, um, you can see here uh, the flow meter uh, I installed there, and on the upper side here, uh, I have the temperature uh, of the returning uh, fluid, and the temperature of the returning fluid. Um, <coughs> is uh, on the, this indicator and I have a second indicator this one 
uh, that take the temperature um, <coughs> uh, of the fluid uh, after uh, the motorbike uh, radiator and I use this device to um, make the fan running or not depending on the temperature uh, of the of the of the fluid outside of the radiator so it's a good way to maintain a very uh, <coughs> a very stable temperature and to have a very um, uh, cooling efficiency so <coughs> I can show you the pump it's the downside of the machine and we have to go so under the machine so you have the pump here and the pump uh, is starting each time you start the spindle so when Linux CNC is sending uh, the spindle signal to start the pump receives the, the signal also and start and so the pump is uh, as you can see at the lower position so receive the fluid and there is no way that uh, air can uh, be stuck there and just down you can see here the, the radiator, the motorbike radiator uh, and the black circle here is the fan that is used to control the, the temperature and uh, the sensor of temperature uh, of the returning fluid is there so <coughs> uh, with this way I can control uh, all the cooling circuits and uh, I can work for hours hours with any concern uh, about the, the CNC uh, spindle temperature and so on so here it is so uh, the cooling circuit and uh, why I use a uh, third thing thanks for watching